said to me, okay, you know this old schooling boat? You know this old schooling? Yes. Yeah, 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 I know. Do you want something with that? No, no, too much work, too much, I don't do that, come on. And then, you know, when you come on this old ship and then you see, oh yeah, maybe we can do this, maybe we can do that, maybe we can go to Antarctica, maybe, 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 maybe. And then your brain starts working and finally you're sitting at home and you take a piece of paper and you start, okay, maybe this, maybe that, maybe this, and there it starts. rebuilding and first you think okay we do a little bit rebuilding and you think no no this is also not the right quality this is not good quality and finally said okay let's rebuild the whole boat so that's what we decide also because I want to be active in the make yacht world and the make yacht world asked really really for high quality uh, and must be looking good so we decide to rebuild completely first of all this is a big boat and you want to do something else with it you want to have some special items so you think okay what is a special item in a boat at that time now it's already a lot of boats have it but a spa area was absolutely something special and so we decide it have to be a spa area it have to be an open saloon it have to be much higher than any other boat and you have to have the feeling of you are in a big big building and then the second thing is how you make it cozy this is basically what it is. There are the, the basic thoughts behind this boat. And what you see is, is the first idea was to make a complete open saloon yeah, with lots of glass. Yeah, so you can walk from one, you can look from one side to the other boat without any obstruction. Thousand liters of very fresh water yeah, on the top of the deck. Yeah, make uh, make the kids absolutely happy on the daytime and make the parents absolutely happy on the nighttime. It's a very very nice relaxing area with all the sun chairs, pool. We can make the bubbles. We can make it hot. We can make it cold. And you have simply on the end of the day, every yard is a holiday. Among the most classic boats, they don't have so many space to put all the toys away. And then, you know, to make a complete flush deck is very comfortable for the guests, it's very comfortable for us. It don't give uh, us a lot of maintenance. And you have no anchor winch on this deck because it's simply it's one deck lower and that makes the deck when you close the hatches, it makes it really beautiful. On the other hand is our tenders are always dry, they are salt free and it's easy maintenance. And it's purely out of technical way. I think this is interesting. The bell is from the original ship and we give her a her place back yeah, on the bow where she belongs and I think this is the yeah you know I think some parts of the boat have to come back when you are working and when you are building there is a carpenter coming to you and he's knocking on your shoulder and yeah, when you build it like this yeah everything will go wrong yeah, and then there is a steel worker uh, around you and he's the yeah, Let's do it on this way, because my practice is when we do it like that. And then you have to listen, and sometimes you don't have to listen. Yeah. And all these things you bring together. But basically, everybody who's walking around on a boat like this, in a cruise ship, it's very simple. If somebody brings something, put it in, forget it. On this boat, everybody knows what's the purpose. The only purpose is to make it a nice charter boat and let the boat be beautiful. And a lot of people put their small things in. To build a boat is always a team player.